Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to overclock your graphics card to get a better performance from it. Now remember, overclocking your graphics card always comes at a risk and also voids your warranty. So please read the message on the screen as I take no responsibility if something goes wrong. Big shout out goes to Tim's Computer Repair for nominating this video. So thanks to him, you can check out his channel on YouTube. So let's get started with the video. So first off, what is an overclock in a graphics card? Well, you can use various different types of software. Now, the manufacturers of the uh, graphics card normally make their own little tools to overclock, but you can ba basically use any type of uh, tool to overclock the actual graphics card itself. So I've got a Gamewood uh, graphics card here, and I'll just show you the process here. You can actually go to Gamewood site or the actual manufacturer of your graphics card, no matter what it is, and then you can go to their download section here and as you can see it gives you the actual graphics card and then you pick the series um, basically uh, pick one of these and then you can pick whichever graphics card you've got okay so there's the graphics card I'm using and then it allows you to download the driver okay now this is the probably the best way to overclock your graphics card because that way you're using the manufacturer's software Okay, so let's take a look at the actual tool from Gamewood, which is my graphics card in this machine. And as you can see here, it looks like a card dashboard, and we've got some information here. We've got memory and core, and we've also got some tabs on the left and right of this little panel. So let's have a look. On the left, we've got settings, status, BIOS, restore, and info. And on the right, we've got our user modes, which is like profiles, which you can set up um, for each individual overclock that you set okay and you can assign these to a key i think where you can actually change these for certain types of games so you can set up your overclocks and assign these to each key and then push those keys on your keyboard and it will change the profile and the overclock of the card okay pretty straightforward stuff but on here we can see we've got our memory now that's already running uh, into the yellow here as you can see which is running as stock, that's all stock settings. But bear in mind, pretty much this is normal for most graphics cards. Um, they very rarely don't give you too much room to play around with there. But as you can see the core here on this one, we've got a bit of room here, we can bump this up. Now don't go jumping straight in and ramping it right up to the top here because you may damage the card and some other components on your system. So you really wanna take it in small increments okay and just go up until you get a nice steady uh, overclock and find the sweet spot for your graphics card and for your system because you need plenty of cooling okay this is where we can adjust our fan you can either adjust the fan auto or you can adjust it yourself and ramp this up a little bit more um, depending on the temperature of your graphics card this is the actual graphics card temperature okay and remember you've got other temperatures inside the inside the case which is going to affect your actual GPU as well because of the heat. Everything causes heat and then if it gets trapped inside the case, this will start to climb. So you've got to be careful. So let's have a look at how to overclock. All we need to do here is pretty simple process. Click on the overclock button and we're going to concentrate on the core here and just bump this up a little bit and I'll just show you what to do. You just need to go to the GPU core um, offset switch here and just pull this across to whatever level you want so we could just say go to 200 uh, megahertz here and if I clicked OK you'd see that climb up and we're still pretty much in a, a safe zone here you can see the temperature is already fluctuating a little bit here and you would leave this and test it and play games on it to make sure that it's stable and if it is you can maybe bump it up a bit more and do to it in small steps okay and that's how you basically overclock this type of graphics card and any other graphics card really. So you can play around with these settings and uh, have a little go at it yourself. But be very careful. And remember, I don't take no responsibility if anything goes wrong. So let's take a look at how to restore it. If you want to go back, you can close it off and restore to default. Or you can keep the settings okay, and put it into your user profile. So we're going to restore that for a second. Now, GPU-Z is a great tool to get some information on your card. This will give you all the information that you need about clock speed 
and stuff like that and you can get everything on this tool here it's a great little tool to have if you're messing around with these types of things so let's take a look at something else we're going to have a look at MSI afterburner so if I just click on this and fire this up you can see you can use this tool to overclock this card as well and uh, you can see the sliders here that we've got and if you hover over these it will give you information okay on all of these uh, what they do these sliders just hover over them and it will give you all the information like so so you can see here core clock this is the one 835 same as the other one but this is a slider and there's no big dial but it just tells you the number and if you wanted to bump this up you could bump this up the only thing here is you can't see the actual temperature i.e. red and stuff like that it will start to change here okay and you can set your profiles up and settings and reset is all down the bottom so another good tool is uh, the EVGA Position X another tool here and you can see this one is pretty much similar to the other one they're all pretty much the same stuff but this is uh, got some information bubbles that pop up when you hover over things and uh, also you can see the temperature here and the fan speed and you've got fan curve you can change that voltage you can see the voltage here as well and you can keep an eye on that so you don't overdo it let's have a look at um, gigabyte so this is gigabytes uh, tool and as you can see here it's done in little blocks basically monitoring GPU clock memory clock fan minimum voltage and power target and so on and so on okay and that's pretty much the same thing profiles are at the top to set your profiles up and you can just basically change these uh, settings by just hitting these little arrows here and it will um, up your uh, megahertz on your GPU and your memory as you can see here and you can assign a hotkey you can see the OSD this is the to assign a hotkey for your overclock and set a profile for that so you can just click those uh, buttons and it will set to that actual overclock another one is uh, Asus well, I'll have a quick look at this one but they're pretty much all the same so here we have the Asus uh, tool and then we have our sliders okay we've got the tuning and update live and we can also see our settings and stuff like that and our profiles pretty much all the same stuff really okay and your fan speed you can play around here with these manual or auto and so on and so on so you choose your tool or you can go with a manufacturer's tool whatever floats your boat really and uh, have a play with your graphics card settings and overclock your graphics card and see what you can get let me know in the comments below if you get some good results out of your cards if you break your card it's totally your own fault i take no responsibility so have a good day my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys that will keep you up to date with all my latest updates on my videos when i upload them and also hit the like button if you like the video and I'll be seeing you in the next video. So thanks again for watching and thanks for Tim's Computer Repair. Don't forget to check his channel out. I'll put the link in the, descri in the description for you. So thanks again. Bye for now.